Now, the All Spells version of Miracles that Sam prefers tends to be, I believe, better against combo decks. Though, maybe it's actually a give or take. Uh, cards like Venser are, are fine in the matchups. Mm -hmm. Fleischman on the play will start with a turn one faith, including a basic mountain, and Sam just snap force of wills it. Your opponent is never up to any good when they cast <laughs> turn one faithless looting. Pitching force of will. Basic Island will put Sensei's Divining Top into play for Sam. Now the question is whether or not David has another way to put cards into his graveyard before turn three. Mm -hmm. And the fight you generally want to go for against a reanimator strategy is the thing that puts the card in the graveyard. Once they already have something like a Gristle Brand in the graveyard, all the reanimation spells that they have are just live. And Tomb for David. You're going to do it while Sam's mana is down. He entombs Gristle Brand, says go. So not set back, too big of a setback for Fleischman. He manages, he's one turn delayed, but he gets the creature into the yard. Now he's going to try to bring it back out. And his hand looks to be full of stuff that does that. Uh, what he has to do is resolve these things, but it looks like multiple animate deads, multiple exhumes. Right, there's no way Sam has enough counter spells for all this reanimation. Maybe Sam can get a counterbalance down early. Mm -hmm. Exhume is going to be the play. Sam will spin top. Jace, Brainstorm, Island. Yeah, that means uh, Sam already has to have it. Swords of Plowshares on Gristlebrand is, yeah. doesn't really take care of the problem. Swords Snapcaster in play for Sam. He's going to pop his top and then shuffle. Yeah, he might be trying to brainstorm to force this and just hoping that David's on nothing. This is a fast, yeah, Latin's Miracles does not it doesn't like having to convert its resources as quickly as Sam is doing it. And one thing about the Black Red Reanimator deck is if you're able to run them out of stuff in the early game, they have a lot more difficulty recovering than the blue version of the deck, uh, just because by virtue of not having access to Brainstorm and more card drawing effects. Another Brainstorm here finds Terminus, Swords, some lands. It did not find his Force of Will. So yeah, Exhum will resolve. Here's Gristlebrand. Flashman, 19 life, can activate it twice. Now, unlike the blue versions, where this would be a complete... Against a blue reanimator, this would basically be a game over because a blue reanimator deck would find two Force of Wills, two blue cards, and then just say go. Mm -hmm. um, Black Red can't do that. Right, it's a little bit more game to be played here. Um, their interaction, they like to have Chancellor of the Annex in their opening hand, and that kind of backs up their combo. Um, the way that he's actually going to shut the Miracles player out of the game is getting his Iona Shield of Emiria on the battlefield, named White, so those things can't really deal with his uh, permanence, or Tide Spot Tyrant. That one's really good because it's not legendary. You can't just Caracas it back to the reanimator player's hand. Right, goes ahead and draws seven, cracks a fetch land. There actually are no copies of Caracas in Sam Rukas's list for this weekend. Well, that's a good sign for the reanimator player. Yeah, sometimes we see anywhere up to two Caracas in this list. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting about Sam's list, it's very honest. You see Thoughtseize shows Snapcaster, Swords, and two lands. Um, so you'll see some utility lands out of Miracles, uh, sometimes Cavern of Souls. All of Sam's lands just make mana. He has a red splash. He has two volcanic islands. That's for cards out of the sideboard. Mm. But, you know, nothing and, else. And cards that really aren't going to play in this matchup, those red blasts, they're... <laughs> Not going to matter against the black red version of Reanimator. No, no copies of Rest in Peace in his sideboard either. Sometimes you'll see that. Mm -hmm. And the thoughts used here you can take the plow, you can take the Snapcaster Mage. Either way, your Gristle Bland's getting plowed. You have to figure out what you're doing from there. So he just takes Snapcaster Mage. And? That one leaves Sam with a 2 1, so that one makes sense. Discards, Chancellor of the Annex. Terminus by Sam Rukas puts Gristlebrand on the bottom of David's deck. Sam plays land, says go. There's a Swords to Plowshares in Sam's hand. Both players know about it. And look at David's hand. Animate dead, animate dead, <laughs> reanimate. You're in a dark ritual here. How, it's not will he make Gristlebrand, it's how many Gristlebrands. Right. You can make Gristlebrand and Chancellor of the Annex here. Chancellor, not that impressive here. It's just a 5-6, but why not? He'll use two of his black mana to animate dead Chancellor of the Annex. Mm -hmm. And that, that is one nice thing about the Black Red Reanimator that they take advantage of. Instead of having Force of Will, they just have this creature that has a pretty pretty large body. And you can just reanimate this one sometimes. Another Dark Ritual for David. Oh, this is, this is great. 
Chance of the Annex, this is one gives you some play when it's in your opener. In play, it is a 5-6 that in a lot of ways acts like a Thalia. Um, their spell, all of Sam's spells will cost one more, mm -hmm. or he can have them get countered. Right. And if it's in your opener, you get that effect for the first spell your opponent plays in the right. game. And that's the nice part. It's, a, it, it's some defense. This deck has some turn ones. Turn one, show, show Chancellor, mm -hmm. Forest, Dark Ritual, Entomb, Reanimate. And, and sometimes it's just Show Chancellor, Faithless Looting, Discard, Chancellor, Lotus Petal, Reanimate, Chancellor. Then your opponent's first spell is just going to be countered and you'll be able to get in some chip shots yeah. and set up a little bit more with the Chancellor on the battlefield. Dave is going to look at Sam's graveyard. He's going to reanimate Snapcaster Mage. Ooh. So he'll go to seven. Snapcaster Mage is going to target Thoughtseize again. This is some really nice sequencing on David's part. I'm a big fan of what's happening here. He's going to Thoughtseize Sam. Looks like he's trying to get rid of that Source to Plowshares and then make Gristlebrand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot to like about this sequencing. Yeah, is that something fancy when you see players reanimate their opponent's creatures, especially when their opponent's playing Miracles? <laughs> right. And Swords of Plowshares will be cast on Chancellor of the Annex. And Sam has to pay extra. Chancellor is exiled. And just an island in Sam's hand, so the thought sees works. David gains some extra life off that source, which actually is relevant as he's about to put an animate dead on a Gristlebrand. Mm -hmm. He has enough mana to draw seven again, or enough life points to draw seven again. Right. If he even needs to. You always need to draw more cards. <laughs> All right. Uses the floating black mana to cast Exhum. There certainly are no creatures in Sam's yard, so here comes Gristlebrand again. Well, yeah. His David already reanimated the one that was in Sam's <laughs> graveyard. And so much redundancy in this black red deck. He's got another animate dead in hand. Ugh. Sensei's Divining Top, land, spin from Sam. He's got Predict, Swords to Plowshares, and Counterbalance. Can Sam win this? I, I for a while, thought we were done. Um, I guess there's a future where he gets counter top going and mm -hmm. swords a bunch of monsters. And he needs to get through a turn where he can swords the gristle brand, set up the counterbalance, and just have David not do anything else in between. Yeah. Top will get him his swords to plowshares. He's going to swords the gristle brand on, in combat. Sam waiting until combat to do this in case of a card like through the breach were to show up. Sure. David will go to 18. And David didn't draw seven there. Just lets this happen. Sounds, which makes it feel like he's got this under control. Yeah, hopefully he has some kind of follow-up if that's the line. Sam takes two, goes to 15. David certainly does not need to be at 18 life. <laughs> no, I mean, he's at Dark Ritual, okay. Yeah, it looks like he's got this taken care of. He's going to Dark Ritual, Flashback, Faithless Living. He's got an Entomb in his hand as well. <laughs> he really just needs to get some creature on the battlefield. This guy's Chance of the Annex and Entomb. He's going to go ahead and put an Animate Dead on Chance of the Annex, so that's... A4-6. Sure. No, the, the card that would potentially make David concerned about his life total is if Sam was able to miracle a large and treat the angels. That's not in Sam's deck. There's no way for David to know that. Oh, he's playing two. That's his win con. Ah, it was a line through it because the uh, <laughs> like way printed. it was printed. Okay, so that was not him crossing it off. No, that's okay. his win con. He's got it. Gotcha. You can't entreat for very much because of Chancellor of the Annex, though. Yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll tax Sam one angel. So currently a Miracle Entreat is only good for one angel, and that's just smaller than the Chancellor. Yeah, so here's six damage from Fl from Fleischman. Sam will drop to nine. Sam, what does Sam do for drop of turn? And then he's going to Miracle a Terminus, paying the extra. All right, 
Spins top, plays top, spins top, draws counterbalance, plays it, leaves a one mana card on top. Still, still going. David's hand, some air in it, and unmask. And I feel like we're going back and we're being punished for that spot. See, Sam has counter top. Mm -hmm. David missed a draw seven on Gristlebrand. And yes. I, I'm not liking that. Yeah, technically, I, I, yeah. he played a little bit about around in treat, but uh, played into what is happening right now. Right, that David, Sam has gained control of the, the game now. Faithless looting from Fleischman, but I bet Sam can find a one. He certainly has an entreat on top, and if he needs a one bad enough, he can just go ahead and put, use the divining top. Mm -hmm. He'll let, he'll go ahead and let the Faithless looting resolve. Draws two Lotus Petal and land for Fleischman. That's no game. Discards Tide Spout Tyrant. So that's a card he can reanimate. Unmask, animate dead in Fleischman's hand, and a land. He's just about out of gas. He's going to go for animate dead. Sam rearranges and puts predict on the top. That will counter animate dead. And now respins the top. Here come the angels. He's going to make two of them, a pair of four fours. That's a two turn clock. And you can see Sam has just picked up the pace. He's got to be excited here that he's about to win this game. That yeah. This did not. I did not think this was going to happen, not, especially not once he got the David got a Gristlebrand into play. Mm -hmm. Gonna hard cast unmask, gets these sorts of plowshares out of Sam's hand. Says go. David has one turn, and he's got to do it through countertop. He goes down to eight. Yeah, there's really nothing that Dave was, Dave is able to produce from here. And Sam Rukas on miracles takes the first game. Reanimator goes off, but Sam is able to persist through and gets that one. And it is a faster deck uh, on average, but uh, something you were talking about earlier, the fact that the black-red version does not have access to Force of Will. Yeah, the turn he had the Gristle Band is mentioning, if it was a blue Reanimator deck, we'd have been done. There'd have right. been two Force of Wills, two blue cards in the Reanimator player's hand. Mm -hmm. You know, these the idea that you can Swords and Terminus your way out of a Gristle Brand doesn't work there. Right. But now Sam Rook is up a game against Reanimator. So we're going to look first at Sam's sideboard. He's the control deck. He has gotten the first game. Uh, and then we start looking at cards that are very good in this matchup. Um, I'm going to look first at two Surgical Extraction. It's a graveyard deck. I love that. Anything else that Sam might want? Uh, Fluster Storm is totally reasonable to fight over a lot of, lot of the spells in David's deck. Uh, even Wear Tear sometimes. You, know, you can both destroy Animate Dead as it's just an enchantment. Um, and you can also use that one to float with the, uh, if you set up the counterbalance block to counter a one and two. So it's, of course, just good to have in your deck. Those are really the cards that he's looking at here. Now, we might see something like Monastery Mentor um, just as a win condition. It's, it may be better than Entreat the Angels here. It's possible. Um, it, it makes a very minor difference in the way the game plays. Sure, so. here, yeah, it's not a big difference. I, I think. That's probably like, because there's no kill spells in the black red deck. That might just be the better win con. Sure. Yeah, you can you make that uh, call. It, but the, the relevant turns are one, two, and three, really. Right. Once Sam gets to turn four, how he wins is probably not what's at stake. Right. It's did he assemble countertop? Once he did, once we saw Sam establish countertop, it, David wasn't winning anymore. Right. All right. On David's sideboard, he's got four abrupt decay, three pithing needle, three reverent silence, three nature's claim, a siren sanity, and a chancellor of the annex. Now, I know out of a fair deck, Abrupt Decay always comes in against Countertop. Mm. I don't know if that's actually true out of Reanimator. I'm concerned that that would be over sideboarding for this matchup. Right. Uh, maybe a small number of Pithing Needles for Sensei's Divining Top, but the cards that he really wants are that Sire of Insanity and that fourth Chancellor of the Annex. Sure, there. those are better cards to reanimate. Tide Spout Tyrant, not particularly good here, for example. Mm -hmm. And he, he doesn't know that Sam doesn't have Caracas, so just non-legendary for the Tyrant right. and the Sire. That, right. that, that is technically a text. That, 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 that's an upside in a lot of these matchups. Yeah, Sire of Insanity, the 6-4 six, for 6. Both players discard their hand at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. Really get a that nice card. Yeah. Turn one on the play. If you have that with Chancellor back up, it's <laughs> very difficult for the Miracles player to recover from that. It does take you a couple turns to kill them, so they can, you know, peel Tundra into swords, but that's about it. All right. So if you missed yesterday, we have all of our coverage for the entire weekend is available on StarCityGames.com's YouTube page. We have, that's where we post all of our videos. We have our full uh, 
event event recaps of, of, of every event here on the SCG Tour, including the best of SCG Tour highlights. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have other things. Split Second, we have our Versus Series, Magic Online Playtesting, and we actually have our Commander Versus Series. You may have seen that over on Star City Games. Uh, we have those videos. And with them, we also have a Star City Games on our store. We have the Versus Playmats now. This is a, for the Commander 2016 edition. We have both the decks of that and then the set of five decks, along with the Versus Series Playmats. So those are available on our website for order now. StarCityGames.com slash Commander 2016. It's a lot of sweet cards in those commander decks. I even know what some of them do. Are they Leovold Emissary of Dress? Uh, that one's from conspiracy? Is that conspiracy. Oh no, you're right, it's the other one. Hello. Which one's come okay. The commander that's where all like I assume this is some sweet legend. I guess the political cards are from conspiracy and the really awesome legends are from Commander. And while Leovold is an awesome legend, he's kind of a political card. <laughs> so he's probably from conspiracy. Right. Also, only three colors. It's the four-color Commander Edition. That is true. No longer do you, are we limited to just having Nephilim be our commanders. Mulligan here from David Fleischman. Yeah, th these cards have way better abilities than all of the Nephilim. <laughs> if you just stapled them all together, they'd be worse than, I think, at least four of the five. <laughs> All right, so what are so so out of the com out of the Commander 2016 set? There's some sweet cards. Yeah. You got one in mind. Uh, there's Yidris, which is not white, so it's the four best colors. So we could play it in our four color control deck in Legacy. Yeah. It's a five four. It has some kind of evasive ability. Maybe it's trample. I don't know. It attacks or it damages your opponent. One of those two things. And then the next this next spell or spells you play that turn have Cascade. It's like a mini Maelstrom Wanderer. It's got like 100 abilities. Yeah. A lot of text. It's legendary. There's one that makes two artifacts and does something when you do something with two <laughs> artifacts. Wow, well, that sounds like a it's great called, card. I believe it's called <laughs> Brea something or other. Uh, <laughs> makes two artifacts and does stuff with does, artifacts. Does is it, stuff is it, that it, involves it two called, artifacts. Is it called Whirler Rogue? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Whirler Rogue you it's described. It's called Pia and Kieran Nalar. <laughs> uh, that's the only card that, that makes makes two artifacts and does. Uh, there's, there's Servo a, Schematic, that makes two artifacts and <laughs> does some stuff with artifacts. Does some stuff. There's a third one. <laughs> <laughs> David Fleischman has kept scries to the bottom. Land, a lotus petal, and a pass. And turn one sensei's divining top from Sam Rukas. Gristlebrand and reanimate both in Fleischman's hand, but I don't know if he has a way to dump them into his graveyard. One of the disadvantages of the Blackguard reanimator deck is uh, they don't have show and tell in the sideboard, so graveyard hates actually just always good against them. They don't have show and tell, and they have less in the way of card filtering that they can draw into. So David specifically needs to draw a discard outlet. He can't draw right. into Brainstorm and be OK. You see Sam spins top and then pops it. Entombed by Fleischman. I'm going to give credit to Sam knows what he's doing here. A lot of times, it's very rare that you'll see a Miracles player just put their top away so early in the game. Mm -hmm. Looking like he wants it to shuffle away. Yeah, maybe he just has back up top. Reanimate will, or Entomb rather, will put Gristlebrand in the graveyard. I was going to attempt to reanimate this, but based on how Sam's been playing so far, I'm just not thinking that's going to work, and Sam's going to surgically extract the Gristlebrand. And yeah, now David just kind of has two blank cards in his hand. I, I think one of his cards now might even be Gristlebrand. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> so he's going to lose that one. He's going to lose one in his graveyard. He's left with an Exhume in hand. This is the Blackguard Reanimator deck a lot, in a lot of ways, I think is more similar to our Belcher style decks in, in Legacy. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like there's this like spectrum of combo decks. All the way on one side, you have the ones that are trying to turn one people. And you know, it's like a bullet with one or, or a gun with maybe one or two shots in it. Mm -hmm. You You know. If the first if the first one misses, maybe you get to try again. If you miss a second time, you're done. 
So there, there's trade-offs between right. Black Red Reanimator and Blue Black Reanimator, so, so, where so the Black Red Reanimator deck, it's just faster. Generally, they have yeah. main deck Sire of Insanity, which is actually just a castable spell, sometimes on turn one off of Dark Rituals and Lotus Petal. Right, so Black Red, you know, it, it's really on that that far end of, I, I do something really good on turn one and two, and I hope you can't answer. And if you get to turn two or three, you yeah. really wish you were playing the Brainstorm version. Yeah, so, so the blue one is a little we start moving across the spectrum. Then you get all the way towards, like, you know, elves is, like, very far from that end. And then you even get to stuff like Food Chain. That's, I mean, I guess a combo deck, but not really. Of these Belcher-esque decks, um, and it is a deck that we had on camera earlier today, I believe that the most consistent and powerful, the deck that I would play if I had to play one of these ones for this tournament, is the Mono Red Sneak Attack deck. Yeah, that one, it's interesting because it does a bunch of really broken turn one and two stuff, but it actually reloads pretty well. Mm-hmm. You see Sam Rook has put established counterbalance to go with the Sensei's Divining Top. Looks like he'll be able to clean up game two. He's got a second Surgical Extraction in his hand. I guess all he has to worry about now is David doing something like hard casting a Sire of Insanity, Sam missing. I guess that, that he'll just, he probably has a Swords or Terminus or just something. Just reveal Terminus to counterbalance. Yeah, it's... Problem solved. Without Gristlebrands in his deck, there's just not much second chance. From here, that Sam David has gets. to both miss on a lot of stuff, and David has to have a number of things go right. So the player that already controls Sensei's Divining Top is playing Brainstorm and Ponder is the player that needs to miss. It just seems extremely unlikely. Flash doesn't cast Unmask on Sam. He wants to see the cards he's trying to beat. Looks like he'll get to. Or Sam will counterspell it. He gets to see that one. All right. At this point, Sam's just looking for a way to win an Entreat or Mentor, whichever one he's chosen. It's kind of why we mentioned during Cyborg, you said, yeah, maybe Mentor's better, but that's not the relevant part. Jace the Mind Sculpture would be enough. You could win the game with that before David was able to do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, that's probably the best win con, because it pitches to Force of Will. <laughs> and that, those are the relevant turns, and here is Jace the Mind Sculptor. It will brainstorm. And you see a wear tear did come in off the sideboard. Uh, it's a great card to float with your counterbalance lock. Also just answers animate dead. Puts on top of his deck, David says go. Predict, Sam will mill, Sensei's divining top, draws two. And you can see just with the speed of these interactions, Sam knows this deck in and out. Mm, he's, he's very far ahead. He basically just has to not make any extremely critical error. Two forces, two blue cards, Jace, Counterbalance, Divining, Top, and Play. This is going to be a 2-0 win for Sam as he starts discarding the hand size. This game will go on as long as David wants it to go on. Hmm. Yeah, Sam's not going to win it quickly. Uh, I don't think Sam even just using Predict to draw more cards after having to discard for a turn. Yeah, he could start ticking up the Jace as soon as he wants, but uh, just solidifying a hand. I guess he's trying to set up the full four Force of Wills, even though you can only cast three on the same turn because he can't pitch that many cards. Just keeps dis discarding Brainstorm to hand size. Yeah, that's... He, he, he discarded the previous turn, and then on that turn, cast Predict and Brainstorm with Jace. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Another land, Jace All to right. five. Face ceiling now. Yeah, yeah, there's. I he's gonna have David keep every card on top because it doesn't matter. <laughs> there's, there's yeah. not a there's not a card he can't beat. Yeah, really, really don't even have to look at them, right? <laughs> you may as well. That would be a style play, and I, I'm a big fan of these. Style equity would be if you just look at your cards in hand and then without look breaking gaze, just say Jace plus two top, and then or, you you, you can keep it on top. Jace plus two bottom without looking. <laughs> No, no, the style move is definitely just like to tell them to keep it on top without looking at the card. Yeah, you force them to pick up their deck and put the card on bottom just for no reason. Sam just looking for one of his win cons. He's No, Sam's just looking for lands so sure. he doesn't have to discard to hand size. He has his win con. That's true. Discarding to hand size is sad, so. He's already had to do just... it a couple times. David is working his way up to an eight card hand so that he can discard it. Maybe there's a play in there. He discards Chancellor of the Annex. I, I don't think so. Jace up to 11. I guess by having a seven-card hand, when Jace ultimates at him, he'll have a larger deck. 
with the same cards that already weren't winning him the game. Right, yeah, he'll get to draw them again one at a time. Sam can fate seal them to the bottom. <laughs> Looks like a Rupte did come in from Fleischman. It's kind of what you mentioned, you said you're not sure that's the fight he wants. He drew one. It sure doesn't matter. Right. Faceless it, looting. It might have mattered if that was something that happened on turn four. Yeah, and you see just how in control Sam is. Faceless looting. Sam's just going to let every spell resolve at this point. How many, He has how many Force of Wills? It's at least three. It might be the full set in his hand. You can hard cast them, too. Just five lands here. Six six mana sources, three fetch lands, sure. <laughs> We're not, why would we two for one ourselves? Yeah. The hard casting Force of Will in Miracles comes up uh, a lot more than it does in the other Force of Will decks. This deck is generally just more interested in making land drops. Thoughtseize from David Fleischman. Can counter this. He can shrug his shoulders. He's got a lot of options. Here, I have four Force of Wills, a Snapcaster Mage, a Surgical <laughs> Extraction, and a Brainstorm. Which would you like to take? <laughs> Take Surgical, okay. Let's play a game. I'll let you pick three of them. Dark Ritual from David, okay. I guess David's gonna try to go for three consecutive reanimation spells. Dark Ritual is gonna just be Force of Wills? Sure. Well, can't play three in one turn now. Says go. Sam resets the top of his deck. I mean, even if David somehow gets through all these Force of Wills, the problem is Sam just can Snapcaster Mage the Surgical Extraction. Mm -hmm. Or Snapcaster Mage Force of Will for seven mana. Sam's doing here on end step as he is fetching, then spins top. If he doesn't see and treat the angels, or I guess whatever card he's looking for, then he just cracks another fetch land. Cluster Storm. Looks like he's into drawing Cluster Storm. Yeah, it'd be really unfortunate to draw a blank card from this position. <laughs> Jace up to 13 scries. Fate seals, rather. I feel like when someone says, I'll use Jace, I'll fate seal myself, then you're like, there's a word for that. We call that scrying, my friend. Bloodstained Mire from Fleischman. Jace, the Mind Sculptor, set to use the minus 12 ability next turn. That should end the game. So David's going to go for Animate Dead. He's, this is his last chance to draw any new cards. Oh, Sam's going to... Snapcaster Mage surgically extract the Chancellors. He's going to take a look at Sam's yard. There's another surgical. <laughs> and that will be the handshake. So game and match goes to Sam Rukas. He improves to 11 and 2 with Miracles. He needs a win in one of his last two rounds to make top eight. 